they're back. So a regular season that started in March concludes today, but these clubs have a new competition awaiting from next week. They'll be looking to carry winning form through. Canberra outsiders on the back of some key absences, but they do have this impressive head-to-head -head record. And they have the experience of Elliot Whitehead leading the way up front. Rudolph there to make the tackle along with Blake Braley. And Poepa Portal, what an afternoon to play your first NRL game. He was captain of the Penrith, a Jersey flag winning team last year. First game straight into the starting team. Well, Hepa Poodle, 21 years of age, born in Blacktown, another product of that Panthers system. Fogarty kicks long, and here's Connor Tracy. He's been fabulous in that role with Will Kennedy sideline because of the hamstring. And here's Molotalo. Five wins from seven games at home this year for the Sharks. Stand together. They don't play too many afternoon games here. It's normally Saturday night in those cold, bleak conditions, but the weather couldn't be any better for a free-flowing game of footy today. Played by Hamlin Newelle. Hines attacking the short side as he loves to do, and away to Jesse Ramian. Nothing like. Trying to get past four games at home, Jesse, and played in every game for the Sharks this year. And here's Rapana. Oh, good shot, Sipper. Talakai went bang. He doesn't mind the rough stuff, though, Jordan. And now Kotrick. And Matt Timoko with 110 tackle breaks. And 22 appearances this year. Got claims on maybe being their, their best player throughout the season. And Mariotta, another inexperienced forward elevated to the starting team. Kudu again. Five, wait, no more. Square. Don't interfere. Nothing like No drill start for Canberra. Another high long kick. And Tracy fields it. And he's taken centre field just past his 20. Glorious day, Freddie. Yeah, beautiful day, the no thrill start, keeping this crowd out of play, another sold out crowd, absolutely brilliant. Temperature 17 degrees, the players appreciate this breeze, it's a sour that's behind Cronulla, but what it's done to it's made the track that dry and firm, perfect conditions for footy. It's a good three. Out there, Joe, look for me! Yeah, Joe, go for it better. Hines and the new LA steaming onto it, but loses it. They're just looking at their right side attack. The combination for the Sharks, Jesse Raymond and Britton Nick Nickera. Britton Nickera, when they're on the attack, he very rarely runs a decoy. Here's the error from Hamlin Ueli. Just watch that right side when they get in good field position, the Sharks. And Britton Nickera, he'll be lining up on Matt Frawley. As I said, he very rarely runs decoys when they're in an attacking situation with the Sharks. So the Raiders, they bring four losses in their last six games into this afternoon's clash. Started slowly, were red hot in the middle of the year. But the last six weeks, they've been uh, up and down. They were competitive against Brisbane last week until they got Reese Walsh in the last quarter of the game down in Canberra. And Tuffinay, what a role he's got today. He's got to dominate the middle of the field without his mate Papali. It's with Fogarty, who was under an injury cloud. But has made it to the starters' blocks. Crawley in the six. Porter on an angled run. Pretty much exclusively to their right hand side now. And Tracy! It is Rapina! He got out the in the six the best of the six on the 100th try for the Raiders! He's all effort, Jordan Rapina. You see him involved early in this game, chasing through the middle. Beautiful kick by Fogarty. You see here, Izuzu D Max replay just on the inside of Fogarty, navigates his way through and then leaps. Over the top of Connor Tracy. 
What a wonderful start by the Canberra Raiders. Jordan Rapina picks up his 100th try for the, for the Raiders. There's obviously a plan coming in. You can see Rapina just hanging around his halfback. Oh, probably about five, six inches on Connor Tracy. He's some player, Jordan Rapina. Freddie. I deliberately ask him what he thinks about during the game because he finds a way to get himself into the game in so many different ways. In the first set of six, he runs it on the last tackle, gives his team a quick play of the ball. This time he gets on the inside of his halfback and chases a kick and gets above Connor Tracy. He gets so involved. He brings so much value to this team at 34, 200 games into his career. He just doesn't stop. He's inspirational. It's a great lane to, to chase kicks on the inside of the kicker. They always get kick pressure. They always leave a little bit of space through there. That's a great lane for anyone to chase kicks. Jordan Rapina. There's a little insight from the champion fullback, Billy Slater. Fogarty, 6 nil Canberra. It can be pretty raucous down here in the Shire, but there is a hush over the ground here. First points to the Raiders after six minutes. And an effort play by the irrepressible Jordan Rapina. They're really targeting their right-hand side here, Canberra. They've, everything's pretty much come down that channel of the ground. And I'm wondering, Andrew, if that's got anything to do with the potency of the Cronulla attack down, down that side. To wear them out, perhaps. Trying to wear out Trindle, but also Talakai. You know, Talakai is he's just a power athlete. So he can struggle with that endurance. Get his tackle count up, Talakai. Dully's attack. Once again, Fogarty kicks down that right-hand edge. Once again, Tracy with the catch, but Ronaldo is going to come running back here. He's made upwards of 20 line breaks in the season. Ronaldo Mulatalo to go on the back of all those tries. Now Ramian, always up tempo. And Britton Nicola. Another one who's played in all of the Sharks games so far this year. McKenna's playing on to Rudolph. Put her around the legs. Fogarty there also. Now Tracy. 186 metres last week. 230 the week before and nearly 300 the week prior. He's been awesome. Trindle sends it high. Rapina fields it comfortably. Finals footy starts next week. You can see bottom right of screen, 7 o'clock Friday. The first of the four finals to come. We're hoping that we'll be able to bring you the schedule of finals and kickoff times throughout Sunday footy this afternoon. So stay tuned for all of that. We're into the heavyweight rounds from next week. Played to Wolford. Here's Pudu again. They're making some good yardage through the middle. It's been, it's been impressive. That's his fifth carry. Footwork, bit of speed. He's underneath there again. Nice tackle. He looks a player of the 17. In fact, his twin brother, Nawahi Pudu, is uh, playing in the lower grades here at the Sharks. They both at the Panthers last year and went looking for opportunities elsewhere. Now. The blistering start that we're used to from the Sharks. Trindle kicks high. And 
Carpenter runs back. Hines waiting for him and McInnes as well. Yeah, the Sharks, are, they're just building their game here. It's that, that error from Hamlin Ueli. They've just gone back to the conservative mode. Nico Hines has been a little bit quiet in the last five minutes. Once they get their, their confidence back and build their game, they'll get their structures and they'll start using the football. Well, that's off legs. It's been touched by a shark. That'll be a knock on. Knock on Cronulla. It's a backwards off Canberra. Nice. A couple of things are going their way, the Raiders. Canberra. It's knocked down by Cronulla. They'd love to put another score on. Clock on. What do you want? The scum, boys. This time, Hudson Young. And Seam come over the right side very often. Jack White in the centres again this afternoon. Well, what it does in centre makes him run. He's a running player. 5'8". Sort of lost his mojo later in the year. At centre, makes him run, makes him be aggressive. He's played origin in this position, of course. <laughs> Oh, he's lost the ball here, Hudson Young. Crab <laughs> starting to lift. Joe Moon! Oh! That's a good barometer of where the home team's at. The, the decibel factor of the home crowd here. They're appreciate, uh, appreciative of that run by Hamlin ULA. Inside from Trindle, Rudolph, he spews it out the back. Oh, there were Porter nearly got that back, actually. He, he didn't touch it in the end. The, the crowd were looking for a six again. Call the referee didn't give it. Ramian dumped just outside the 30. Now McInnes. Quick play the ball. Rayleigh swings left. Finds around the back of Trindle. Here's Graham. Great read. Jamming in there, Kotrick with a good tackle on Wade Graham. Here's Nico down a left-hand short side that time. Back for Trindle, he'll kick to the in goal, but Rappin is there again. He's had a blinder of a start. Yeah, covered some ground, Jordan Rappin up. He covered the short side when Nico Hines went down there. And he got back on his bike. Beautiful kick by Trindle. Jordan Rappin, he was up for the task. Now Sebastian Chris plays his first game all season on the wing. He's done an awesome job for them at fullback in a position that he's largely unfamiliar with, with a lack of a recognised fullback for the most part of the season for the Raiders. He makes the switch to that left wing today, Fogarty. Kicks end over end. Tracy is good footwork to make the first tackle, but he can't beat that second chasing line, which is headed by Matt Frawley. Sione Katoa. He'd be over the moon, Ricky Stewart. Running into the breeze. About 60% of possession. They scored first. And just watch the Sharks. When the kick bit goes downfield for the Raiders. Just put some fatigue in the, right, uh, in the Sharks. Mines. Great job, Jack White, and they were outnumbered on the short side. They solved that problem. Trindle, it's a chip sort of kick, and Rapida takes it, and he stayed in the field of play. And he played it super fast, oh, but Seb Chris can't evade the, the marker tackle of Katoa. White is going to float one over the top. There's confidence, and Timiko looks up and sees space. Ronaldo had to hustle to get over there. Jeez, that's great play by the Raiders. Poor defence from, from the Sharks. They had him inside their 10. Man. Great kick. Oh, kick early. Play four. And uh, Connor Tracy, look at the ground he's got to cover. That's a perfect kick by Fogarty, who's the first man down there leading the chase. And he makes the tackle. Big play. He, but he's turned, turned him around. What that'll do, won't, their big man won't get back to play four. Hamlin Ueli struggling to get back. And see the forward still coming back on side. He's lost the ball. There's a reward for Canberra. Okay. Yeah, that's pressure. Yeah, challenge this one. Yeah, challenge it. 
Ash, you're coming in to tackle three. Previous was two. One field ruling a knock on. Yeah, off the back of a, Challenge from a great kick. There's a lot of pressure on the Sharks to get back on side. Ramian got back there. Even early in the game, this is a potentially really big call. Well, there's hands all over the ball. It's Mariotta. Just get the hands of Ada Mariota and whether there's intent to strip. Well, watch the left hand or the left arm. It's on the ball and then it, he rakes it down. The arm is on the ball and he pulls the ball out with intent to strip with wow. more than two players in the tackle. The challenge is successful. That is yeah, a Mark. very big call in favour of the Sharks who are in trouble there, Brad Fittler. Yeah, that's a break for the Sharks. It's been interesting watching Tony. the Raiders speaking to Ricky Stewart before the game, and he talked five. about the bench of the Sharks and how tackle they're going to try to come through the middle. He would have been talking to the Raiders team about this. And they've been very physical, the Raiders, and I feel like the Sharks have avoided the physicality at the start of the game. Maybe this is a little bit of luck they needed to come down here and show what they're, show what they're doing. But they've got to come through the Raiders first before oh, they pass the ball. There's the physicality, Freddie. What a shot. He's Rudolph, that's a search. Well, we haven't seen those big, long shifts, sweeping plays where Nico gets oh. across field. Here's Trinder, catches on the advantage line. Hamlin Uele, back towards the middle. Rapper to make the tackle. Rayleigh, McInnes, Hines, they've got numbers here. Tracy feeds a short pass and Jesse Ramey and makes it five tries in five games at home. Yeah, mate, you got that, Ash? A beautiful play. Nico Hines will hide himself and he'll appear late on the right side. Just watch the work here of Connor Tracy. Izuzu DMX replay, he'll hold the ball, hold the ball. Just opens that space. He was just waiting for Jack White to bite on him. This will show it perfect. Holds the ball, holds the ball, and Jack White has to commit. And beautiful pass to Jesse Ramian. Nice fullback play there, Bill. Yeah, they're one of the best attacking teams in the competition, given the field position. And it was gifted to them by Adam Mariotta, the, the one of or the, the strip that the Sharks challenged, gifted the field position, and then the Sharks, well, that's what they do best. They attack. Down to you, Freddie. Yeah, it was on the back of some nice groundwork from Toby Rudolph and Braden Hamlin Uwelli. Rudolph dragged three and four Raiders players up the middle of the field. Hamlin Uwelli got turned on the inside. He won that tackle as well. And all of a sudden, you could just see the movement of all the light blue jerseys all gathering around Nico and Trindle. They're too hard to handle off quick play of the balls. So Braden Trindle is doing the goal kicking. Nico missed with a quad injury last week. So perhaps trying to conserve that. And Trindle has pulled it left at 6 4. scoring run at the moment, particularly when you consider he plays on the opposite side of the Sharks are used to attacking. The left hand combination so potent, but he's just trying to play a one of his own. Ramian, big body. They've held a place in the top eight since round seven. The Sharks team, they've been as high as second on the ladder. A couple of occasions throughout the year. Oh, they had numbers over there. If Nikura could have slipped the ball away. And Hines kicks definitely over the top. Ramian's after it. Ramian gets it back. Oh, Ramian has saved the day. Play the ball. Yeah, you just see Nico Play Hines the ball, when he gets the ball. Market, he hadn't decided what sort of kick he wanted to put in. Usually they 
They put the high one to the corner here. He just sees Rapana back a little bit, sees some space in front, just dinks it over, gets a, a home ground Hold. bounce. Hold! And Ramian, he couldn't stay in the field of play. A little chance there by the Sharks. He kicked it two, 10 Wait, metres too move. long. And those Hold. three attackers, Wait. three defenders short side. 50 out or 40 metres out. If you can go into the line and just dink it over the top. Very hard for the fullback to come forward. Yeah. Oh, oh. Go three. Well, now Zach Wolford doesn't often run, but he scampers out here and he feeds Timakov. So a hint of an opportunity. Timakov back for Kotrick. Tackled twice in succession. Rudolph from McInnes. Shy of the halfway. Here's Tarpane. He'll be thinking offload. Incredible record with close contact metres this year, Joseph Tarpane. Almost 1,400 of them in 22 games. So hard to hold. Great kick chase by Rapinoe. There was a bit of extra effort, which concedes a penalty. Yeah, Imre Gula, he couldn't help himself. And the tackle was complete, and he just flopped in over the top. The last kick for touch, Nico Heinz, he hit it 40 metres. Let's see how much distance he goes for here. Good advantage. Just back in front of this line. Come back, come back, Hudson. Hudson, look, look, look. Go. So next week we've got a rematch of Thursday night. Broncos Storm. And should Canberra win here, we'll have another rematch. Oh, he was being shoveled towards the sideline there, Wade Graham. The referee, Grant Atkins, probably saved him from going over with a hell call. Rudolph, up to the 30. Gawler on the field made the tackle. Trindle, they attack left here. Graham runs towards Fogarty, but he's wrapped up in combination with Elliot Whitehead. Trindle with a kick. Ronaldo's trying to get through. Rafter was there. He certainly hit some interference on the way through, Ronaldo, but... It was disguised adequately by Contra. Get a clear passage. Ronaldo Mulatalo. There's plenty of white jerseys getting in his road legally. At least it looked legal. It was legal. No penalty. So yes it was. Put up. White now. I suppose with him in the centres, it does it does provide a pretty potent combination there with he and uh, Hudson Young. Fogarty has to kick from his own side of the 30. Look. That's a handy bounce. 20 metre bounce. And Tracy <laughs> comes ripping back at them and got smashed. And it was white. He's, he's only got one speed, Connor Tracy. <laughs> If he was a race car, he'd be a dragster. Talakai punching through the middle of the ground. Oh, great Braley. And Hines. Just one back. A little bit of momentum here, the Sharks, after a flattish start to the game. Here's a hanger. Here's Rafa's his first real test, and he backed away from him and let it bounce. Oh, he was very fortunate. He's going to go over the touch line. You weren't held, just stood he up. He wasn't held. Big play. Shark's ball. Yeah, the gamble of letting the ball bounce. It was a beauty by no Trindle. No hit the belly happens. of the ball. It was floating up in the air. Rafa decides to let the ball bounce. And then gets a little bit too close to the sideline. Hamlin Ueli. He just drags him over the sideline in one motion. Well, if, he stayed, illegal. if he stayed down, Bill, and did the voluntary tackle, he got up. Yep. If he stayed down, as soon as Hamlin Ueli puts a hand on him, he has to stop Hamlin Ueli. Big opportunity here for the Sharks. Massive. Here's Rudolph to kick start the new set. There's the first Sharkies chat of the afternoon. 
Braley plays to Nico. We'll let Hamanuele go. Pass missed its mark. Mulatado's back there. He can mop it up. They don't often get it wrong on this left-hand side. And uh, Tamakai, he's a bit sore getting up here. He went to grab the ball and he chopped on his run. He fell over. Great tackle. He jarred up an ankle or something. Tamakai, cool. They've hit hard, haven't they? Here's Braden Hamanuele. Four timeout. Four. Don't ask me, mate. Four. Mark is up. Four. Four. Time on. Go. Four. Trindle. Hines. Nice. 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 They're defending that left hand attack pretty well at the moment, the Raiders. Trindle kicks out wide. Canberra with the ball back. It's handy having Jack Whiten over there. Yeah. A large chunk of his career playing full back and he refused that attacking kick. Played by Chris and Whiten running for yardage. Yeah, he had to deal with the sun. Also, there were some Cronulla Sharks players coming through, but that sun is glaring on that side of the field. There's Emery Guller. Favourite of the coach. Fogarty, another high, long kick. And the Raiders by a couple. This has been very willing. Sami Solo's on the ground now in 18 for the Newcastle player. Seven o'clock tonight, the block returns. A blockbuster episode with the bathroom reveals. Another engaging, fascinating series of the block. Seven o'clock tonight. This Braley, McKinnis had overrun that, so he was left with no choice but to run himself and take the tackle on five. Graham steaming after a high kick. Well, the referee stayed right out of it. There's only been one six to go and two penalties. He's done a lot of ball in play. Oh, these big boys have got their tackle counts right up. Wolfson's already made 20 tackles. Wow. Braley, the other side, 18. Cam McKinnis, 23 tackles already. That's an entree for Cam McKinnis. He's only got 61 to go to, to reach his best. Well, what about that for a strike from Fogarty? He nailed that. Oh, oh well taken. Great kick. Billy got a chill down his spine then. Well, that, it actually went above the roof. I lost it for about three seconds. Yes, Brad. Well, the Tommy Chance start on the sideline. Jack oh. Williams, Tommy Hazleton. They're in the building. Oh, here he comes. Is that Gus who started the chant? <laughs> There's Jack. He's a sublime athlete. Tommy Hazleton has been awesome for the Sharks this year as the ball goes to Trindle Talakai now. Tommy gets the same reception when he walks into Northeast. <laughs> Oh, it's the last. Still last. Right, so that, that's not a, a set in they were looking for. Come back, come back, the ball's been played for a long time. This cycle, here we go, the fatigue alert. Getting up to four and a half minutes. Let it break the play. Next error, or next penalty. The team will get a big advantage. When he's Trey Mooney, he's replaced Tappanay. Here's Mulatalo. We're up to five minutes uninterrupted now. Well, with this fatigue and this cycle as kick reception, both 
forward struggling to get back behind the ball. It's very hard to attack to get into your formation, get any shape. You've got to get little combinations in the middle of the field. That's that's where you're most dangerous when the opposition are, are tired. You know, full back and dummy half or, or your halves together. Little combinations in and around the middle. That was a good first run by Hazelton. And then Tracy tries to punch a hole on the back of that. It comes to Trindle. Graham sprinting after Rappenau. Extract interference in the shape of Jamal Fogarty, but the referee had a good look at it. Gee, the greatest points. They can't even raise the energy to get back as White runs strongly. Well, they, they would all be redlined, those forward packs. They'd be struggling to get some oxygen in the lungs, but their legs would just be burning. Solo. 11 metres to the halfway. Another torp off the boot of Fogarty. He didn't quite strike that one well, but it might work out okay. It actually bounced back in the direction of camera. Pines was there to clean up. We're getting up to around seven minutes of no break. Sorry. Here he is, the fatigue alert down the bottom. Of the wow. Getting up to seven minutes. And this is where, as a halfback, this is where you, you earn your money. You're going to try to push your forwards into position. Hazelden, oh, what a good tackle that was. Yeah. It was Whitehead and they forced an arrow. What a big play. Yeah, it was a good play in and around the ruck, attacking the middle of the field. Nice straight runners. Tommy Hazelden, he just couldn't hold on to this. Cam McInnes, beautiful hands here. Tommy right at the line and just oh, the hand just comes away from the ball for a second. Picked up by the touch judge. Yeah, Elliot Whitehead, he, he can hardly get to a scrum. He's got the hands on his head. Oh, look at him. He's, he is blowing. Okay, let's go, boys. We're all it's here. pretty warm for an Englishman out here, too. He looks like a big lumberjack. As you're walking around carrying an axe over his shoulder, chopping down trees. Life after footy, perhaps. Here's Timakov. What a first half. The conditions, they were screaming, attacking football and points, but. The game's been very attritional. White with an inner and a fan. That was beautiful play, but Rainey stuck to him after missing him the first time. That's a good matchup over there. Jack and Rainey. Imagine they would have been teammates in the Indigenous All Stars team. Both aggressive and loving the challenge. Beautiful pass by Wolfen. Crawley took it flat. They get to play five. Down inside Cronulla's red zone. Crawley, the left foot kicker. It's it's not the best of efforts in terms of depth, but it's been tapped back, and Crawley's going to get another go. This is a flat kick across the ground, and it was lamentable as well. Mulatalo with the take. Some talk around Matt Crawley going to England this season. Here's Hazelton. Straight up, Hazelton! The 2023 NRL and NRLW Telstra Premiership Grand Finals. The core stadium, Sunday, October 1. And if you haven't got, if you haven't got that a Father's Day present yet, you can log on now. NRL.com slash tickets. Socks and undies, Andrew. Now I've got a beach tag. Jack Tompkins. Makes a change. Yeah. Here's Rapp with her. Plenty of chocolates, Billy. Exactly what I got. Jack releasing! Oh! 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 
Cameron brings White underneath. That's your incoming. That's a great tackle. Nikora. Swept his legs away. Solo. Good defence. Away, Graham. Put pressure on. Again, Fogarty with a kick down the right hand side. Yeah, maybe it's a, it's a bit of trick shot of the ruck. Maybe it's an offload. Something needs to break up in this game at the moment. They're just trading sets. It's pretty much five in for a kick. Both teams because it, they're just they're so gassed. But once again, this is where the half acts. You've got to earn your money. This is when you've got to, you've got to get your team. You've got to play when oh. they're under fatigue. Well, it's courage, Joe. You, you've got to have the courage to get up, stand up and play footy here. You know, it's in a holding pattern at the moment. They're, they're, they're both waiting for the opposition to make an error. You've got to go and make it happen sometimes. Hines now trying to spark something in the centre. Hines nearly pulls through the line there. He wanted to offload and he lost the ball. I think ball. it was just part of the tackle. I don't think he's slapping at the ball. I think he's just come around to secure the tackle. Well, Hines was looking to offload it. Come in to five. We can challenge him. Contact. Clock's on. Down to you, Freddie. Challenge over. Well, if I'm Ricky Stewart, I'm over the moon the way the Raiders are going out there. They're up against a breeze. Coming in here with a young, kid, couple of young kids through the middle. They've forced two errors now. Late in the tackle count. Yeah, they've just quieted this crowd right down at 6-4. If that's the score at halftime, he'd be over the moon. Well, uh, Phil Gould spoke about it a couple of weeks ago, that the Raiders, more than any other team, like to play at the ball. They get hands in there. Hold, stay there, wait. They come into tackles, shoulder on the ball, forearms on the ball, and Tom Wolf. Oh. Good luck, Chris. He nearly went straight through off the scrum there. Royce Hunt just had a backflip. Probably more of a back row. He's the world's biggest acrobat, Royce Hunt. Short side again, White trying to duck underneath the tackle of Nikora. Right, that is a good battle, isn't it? And uh, Hudson Young with it now. It goes through the hands of Frawley. And Gula. Five and last. We've only got five minutes left in the half. Fogarty's done all their kicking, and here comes Rappiner again. Rappiner v Connor Tracy. He's got another one, John Rappiner. Reaches out and puts it down. It'll be a question of whether the, the yeah, arm hit the ground well. and the tackle was completed. Well, the arm definitely hit the ground. It, it's whether Asher the had momentum no had stopped. Can we just confirm that he's held? Well, he's gone and through I think that he lane might lose again. It before he gets it to line. Inside the kick up, another nice kick by Fogarty. Kick chase is onside. And for the second time, Rappiner, he, he flies above Connor Tracy. Takes it cleanly. Yeah, clear run for the board, just checking their contest. There's no problem with that. He's two from two. Jordan Rapana takes clean possession, playing on at this stage. Well, Nico Hines makes the tackle. Ooh. No, he dropped it anyway. Drops. anyway. He loses the ball short of the try line. We have a decision. Well, I think it was a double movement anyway. This is a big half time coming for Craig Fitzgibbon. To the Sharks. What do you think will be said, Bill, on. Billy? It's a knock on the last well, tackle. Play the ball here. Yeah, I'm not sure which way Craig Fitzgibbon would go. I, I'd be, I'd be encouraging the attack of the Sharks. Uh, I thought they started the game, and then Time's when Hamlin Ueli made that error, they went into their shell and they played conservative. I think they've got to go after the game and get their attack on. Balls come out. I called Another Helm. chance. I called Helm. Mate, I mate. Mate, I understand it's your ball. I called Held, so I can't play on. It's your ball, mate. But once Whether again, it came the out before, I'm not getting sure. hands and all sorts around the ball. Talakai, he looks straight Lock at the on. referee saying it was stripped. Another thing that might be playing on the Sharks' minds is that this record they possess against top eight teams is very poor. They've won two from nine against current top eight opposition. It was actually Braden Trindle. His hand came in and knocked the ball. Not today. Not today. Let's go. Get in. Heads so in. There, there is a question mark in. over Cronulla Hold. in big occasion games, and this is certainly one of them. And a score for the Raiders on half time could be pivotal. Rapida has been everywhere in the first half. Penalty. Sorry, mate. Ten metres. Yeah, they're really offside, off the, the Sharks. A little set play there Sound by the Raiders. Oh, you too.
Just over three minutes to go in this half. Boy, wouldn't the Raiders like to score here? The first run from the hulking frame of Emre Gula. Six from the Sharks line now. It's Mooney. Held by Jack Williams. Right underneath the post at the southern end of the ground. It went from Fogarty to Whitehead. It was a very flat pass. They've used three of their tackles and they're set up to the left-hand side of the field. Another run by Mooney. It's been all forward work for the first four tackles. Foley nearly through a hole. Tracy got over there to cut him off. Wolford with a kick, and for Shelley, it's a try! Zach Wolford looks like he's forced the ball! No, he's Ash, I got no. tackle six. Oh, no. Got a no try. Well, he got there first. Can we just check Zach Wolford doesn't ground and it's kicked dead by Chucks? Connor Tracy was in the tackle. So he was in the defensive line there. The ball goes past him. Players are on the side. Well, is this dangerous from Brayley when he... Oh, well, he that's unbelievable ball. timing so by Brayley. Kick by Blake Brayley. Just seeing if there is any touch from Zach Wolford. He does get a touch here, Zach Wolford, after he kicks it. Oh. The other angle showed it. Showed there was a touch. If he went back to the first angle. Just checking other angles. If he's a, if he's a millisecond later... Blake Brayley, that's a try to Wolford, which would have been his first in the NRL, and that might show there's a finger on the ball. Based on the live read of the referee, Zach Wolford, we have insufficient evidence whether Zach Wolford touches the ball. Right. The ball goes dead off Blake Brayley. Well, the first, we have a decision. The first angle there, it showed. Well, that's, that's a try saver by Blake Brayley. Oh. That's a big play. I didn't think he yeah, touched watch it, mate. Watch here. He kicks it. You see on this. Just watch the hand of Wolford. See the finger go up. Anyway, play on. He drills a kick towards the touchline. Cotter gets back there. Two minutes until the break. He's ten. Hold. Wait. Wait. This is big in the broader scheme of things here. Royce move. It's been a graft from the outset. But Canberra with an attacking opportunity. Great tackle from Marker. Strong, physical stuff. Big Royce Hunt. The down inside the 20. Fogarty over to the right. Kicks through. Oh, Trindle had it. And it went back and big Tom Hayes with a plucked it. He just pickpocketed himself. Trindle. He was away. And the ball came out. I don't know how the ball came out. He stole it one on one himself. Well, Tom Hayes would have must have played. This will going up. This will look hilarious. He gets the ball. Oh, no, it's Fogarty. Fogarty plays at the ball. This is a big penalty. We've got about a minute to go. That'll be a set of six. He doesn't oh, find touch. touch. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes, Brad. Well, every good crowd earned their team a penalty, and that was a crowd pleaser, that one. Do you reckon they'll look at a two-point field goal? Against the Breeze? Yeah. He wouldn't make it. I've just worked out what Frank Fitzgibbon is going to talk about at halftime. Yeah. Reset. <laughs> Let's forget that half and start again. Frawley attacks left. Whiten back against the grain. This is dangerous. Whiten explodes. He nearly got through a hole there. Hunt with a good covering tackle. It's the fourth. And Fogarty takes on the line. This will be Canberra's last play of the half. They're all rushing out to the left. Wolford sweeps it back for Frawley. He's going to try and take one point, and he hits the post, and it bounces back. And the Sharks there. Someone's got to get it. It's picked up by Ramian. Well, it's only 6-4, but there's a bit to dissect about that first 40 minutes. The winner gets a home final. It's the last game of the regular season, and the stakes are high. Jesse. That's right. 6-4, right. the Raiders very brave with an understrength team here against the Sharks in Cronulla.
got to say, the man on screen, the referees, handled this back. game really well. He stayed right out. So the Raiders resume. Hines with the take. Back comes the uh, aggressive Royce Hunt, who played down in Canberra, of course, and he he was looking forward to taking on Corey Horsburgh in a return bout. They had a, a good clash earlier in the year. Round three it was. The Raiders won on that occasion. Same for the Raiders. There is no Horsburgh, along with Papali'i. It's a big hole in your forward pack, doesn't it? Hazelton's been strong for the bench again. And now Nikora. Tackle by Trey Mooney in 20. Tracy. It's Cronella to play five. Just past the halfway. Hines with a kick. Down the right-hand channel. Rough it up. What a half he had. Scored the first try. Outlet Connor Tracy. Saved a couple of them. Scored his 100th try for Canberra in his 200th NRL game. Now Sebastian Chris. And Kotrick. There's been nothing flashy about this, but it's a real the arm wrestle, if you will. A real gritty contest. Frawley fires it to White. He beat Ramian. He got a nice ball back to Frawley. He looks dangerous out there in the centres, Jack. So classy. Rogerty gets around. Hazelton, they've got some numbers out on this right-hand edge. Oh, it was knocked on. That or a forward pass, either or. Hand over. Where you are, Tom? Is that a chase by Big Tommy? Hazelton forces the error. Back here, Marcus Square. So you need here, one of those big up. efforts. He gets out. He sprints 10, 12 metres. And just balks him just enough to make him run the ball. Great effort from the big man. of the year, not just for the Sharks, but across the broader competition. Tracy inside pass here. Oh, good tackle. What a shot by Hudson Young. Here's Royce Hart. He beats Emery Gula. Tackle. They can't put him on the ground, which gives Trimble time to kick here. No and Ronaldo's trying to weave through. Up they go. It might be a knock on. It was off Ronaldo Molitano, according to the referee. A knock on first. We're going to knock on off him. Yeah, well, Molitano, he went through, he tried to knock the ball back. And Green okay. Atkins has ruled it knock on. So we're going to go hand over out here. Went forward there. Last yeah. nice tackle, change over out here. That's there. Yeah, that's the side. Molitano. Up against Kotrick. And he's a weapon in the air. Solo. Seen him sparingly in NRL this year. Kotrick works it up near his own 40 metre line. Mooney. Strong forwards built low to the ground with good leg speed. And Wolford runs on the back of that. Oh, that pass. It goes to Frawley. He throws it on the boot. Frawley juggles. He gets to the fullback. Tracy, who makes the tackle. An unexpected opening here for the Raiders. Fogarty fires it to Whiten. Whiten keeps it alive. Hudson Young. Back to Seth Chris. Now Rapina. Danger for Cronulla. And Nico Hines gets there and defuses it. Well, both teams have come out in the second half and attacked. Oh, that was promising there from, from the Raiders. Hudson move! A lot more blue ball movement the opening five minutes of this second half. 
was very Canberra-like. Ball hit the ground, towed forward, picked up, offload, flicked out the back. That's how the Raiders play. So we haven't seen anything of Talakai today. And once again, that's the job of the halves to bring your strike players into play. Here's Williams. That was a bullocking run. Eats up some territory up over the halfway highs, looks left, and kicks into the corner. I don't think he wants this to roll out. Oh, what about, oh, he's missed the ball run, but did he get a hand on it? Did he, he put it over? He must have had a leg over the sideline. He side already when it goes Well, he, he was ball. the only one in the Still stadium who wasn't panicking oh. there. Well, I thought he grounded it in the end goal. You can't do a dead ball line. He missed it the first time, Jordan Rapina. If he's got Play a foot out, oh, oh, he touches it there. So in that position, he doesn't have to stop the ball, he just needs to touch it. Well, if, he's, if the ball's still moving and he puts his foot out and touches it, that's out. That Ricky Stewart knew that. <laughs> oh, how cool is that? We play the ball. Solo, Fogarty, Whitehead, Timakor, always dangerous. Wrapped up strongly by Talakai. This is an incredible struggle, this game. Fogarty, plenty of hang time. White is the target. He touched it. Katoa wants someone to run onto it. There was no one in front of him. Penalty. Here we go. Set start for the Sharks. Can you get their breath? Touchline, yeah. Marley, they're making a bit of noise, uh, the, the Sharkies crowd, as they always do. Yeah, they certainly are. And the official crowd attendance for this Father's Day afternoon at Shark Park is 12,750. They've been giving off quite a nervous energy for most of this match, but it feels like they could be getting their voices warmed up now. They're certainly nervous, regardless of your support. It's one of those... Types of games. See, no clear winner yet. And Canberra have done so well to put themselves in a position to maybe cause the upset. Trindle. Trap and scrap. Who's got it back? I'm going to knock on off the shark second. I've got an accent loss side first. Right. We've got an accent loss side off you guys. Where it rebounds off you guys first, yeah. well, and then the a sharks. Real chance there for the sharks. So we've got a sharks feed. And Trindle spots. There's accent loss side first. Rapiner in the line. He, he tries to thread the needle. Do you think no, mate, in that position the best is to chip, go over the top, yes. get away Stop, from the mate. trap? No legs up there. I think it was too late. The decision was made too late to chip. Braden Trindle, he went to the line, looking to pass, and then tried to thread the needle. Talakai, he was leading. There was no one in the backfield. I still like Nicker on this right side. They can get him one on one. Hines runs it frawley. They've had very little possession on Canberra's line throughout the whole game, and Royce Hunt is. Oh, he's lost it into a camera. Right defender. Do you think it's nerves, or do you just think Canberra's got them off their game a little bit? Yeah, scoreboard pressure. They're behind on the scoreboard, expected to win this game. You gotta you gotta take the tackle. Give your halves, give your key men more chances down this end of the field. An offload there. There's no need. I'll just go back to that top eight. Record again. Cronulla two for nine against top eight opposition. They've smashed up teams down the bottom of the ladder. But when the heat comes on, they don't play with the same freedom. And spreading out with Hazelton. So 6 4. We've had nearly 10 minutes of this second half. Gee, if Canberra could jack, they go 
down to Jerry O Stadium, play Cronulla again next week, and they extend their winning run to 10 in a row. And here's a ball, Chris down the sideline, he hit the line. Nico yeah. again with great covering work. Yeah, desperate tackle, Nico Hines. Win to touch. Just mark this moment down. Thanks, David. There's a real chance here for the, for the Raiders. A nice play by Hudson Young, Bowie. Yeah, said Chris, he just couldn't stay in the field of play. Well, not much in it. Oh. Of blades of grass. Yeah, nice play. Hudson Young and Rapana combined down the left hand side. And Nico Hines, he gets over there, saves the day. A couple of desperate plays from Hines, that intercept when uh, Canberra was stringing passes together and that tackle. Play to Brayley, here goes Bruce Hunt. Good footwork as he arrived there at Gula and actually beat him. He is so hard to bring down. It's like demolishing an office building. Tracy, Nick Cora on an angle. He's got good speed off the mark. He can't slip past Solo and Wolford. Down inside the 10, can they get six again if not a try? High through the hand, Talakai. Talakai one on one. Can't get the ball away. Well, that was the last tackle. And that's the result of, of nine errors for the Sharks. Hines and, and Trindle, they didn't get the ball until the last tackle. Someone was blowing up there, weren't they? A bit of frustration in the Sharkies' camp. Battle. Here's Gula. Nothing right. Bogarty kicks Tracy with the return. Look at him sprint back. Full tilt. Is that one speed again? Yeah. Mutalo. He's gone backwards. One-handed offload. And Ramian. Ramian busting out of tackles. Beats another one. Pumped away from Fogarty, left Gula behind, Solo with the tackle in the end. Pick up in one hand and scoop here and Brayley tries to run through the middle. That was a bad sign, Brayley took off and no one was supporting, they were all back on their heels watching. This is Oregon Kafusi. Ball spews out the back of his offload, here's Talakai, this is the most promising passage of the game for the Sharks. His team on the front foot, Williams, Jack Williams, busts up the middle and beats them all. Yeah, they just punished the middle with Sharks. It all started in the backfield. Ronaldo Mulatalo, Jesse Ramian running crossfield, finding space, Izuzu Dimax replay, and then Hines steps up, finds Williams through the middle. A little bit of fancy footwork, just got Rapina off balance and had enough speed to get under the post. The Sharks are back. with a valuable try. He wouldn't have scored too many in this situation. Hines off an inside pass. He's run through, beating the full pack and under the sticks. That was an assault through the middle. Mm.
buffered at the middle forwards there for Canberra and come up with a result. Let's see whether that tactic continues. Kafusi. Was a, a regular member of the, uh, the 17 at the start of the year. He's been out of the team the last little while. The likes of Hazelton and Hunt have emerged on the scene. He was the signing from Parramatta at the start of this year. He got it. Tackled by Frawley. And Mooney part of that also, the fans starting to uh, lift the intensity a little as Williams goes for another strong run out the middle of the ground. Right in the halfway. Bradley to Tracy to Hines. Inside pass, Ramian again. They come back underneath and he's beating tackles. It goes station right. Oh, he lost the ball. Well, it was a good set from points for the Sharks and from Ramian. What's that, what's that? He just plays the ball and he goes forward Where's rather than back. Where's your captain? can challenge this. Coming into the last play of the ball, Ash. Got a captain's challenge, I've already lost. At the point that Jesse Ramian places the ball on the ground, he has the left hand still on the ground. This is a ball plant. He loses possession of the ball. The challenge is unsuccessful. on his feet but for all his foot knocks the ball he's ready to play the ball and he knocks the ball away with his foot that's a penalty no, that's yes Brad we well, can't go to play the ball with a hand on the ground that's what the ref was saying that's a ball plan so well, that just happened yeah, yeah. Right, but, uh, 10 6 <laughs> Trey Moon, he's been strong. Mm. Oh, another one's got against them. Hazel had his arm tangled up. Their position left here, and White might be the go to. Young into the line first. White trying to emerge on the scene for an offload. Wolford. Spins it away now to Mariotta. Tom Starling on the field. He needs to be watched really quick around the run. Hudson Young, we know he's capable at close range. He gets chopped down there by Kafusi. Now Wolford's out there with Starling, so they'll work together. Gula. That's what Rapata are doing as he put himself in position to chase the kick again. Fogarty, Rapata joins in, fires the ball out wide. Kotrick runs out of room, gets the ball back over the top, and the old Wiley Wade Graham. He's done a great job to get his team up and make him believe. Oh. They've been exceptional today, the Raiders. Kinnis. They're valuable metres. Fritz's expression never changes too much, and, uh, and Starling tried to put a shot on, but came off second best. It was a challenge for the Raiders in the first 58 minutes. They found one try through a kick of Fogarty and Rapner leaping over the the top of kind of Tracy, so they've got to find points here somewhere. The scoreboard pressure will start building in this last 20 minutes. White oh. straight through. White has got one to beat. It's got a Tracy. He takes him on. Tracy's got him around the boot laces. White couldn't get it away. This is Canberra's great chance. Brawley from Dummy Half. Dummy's got himself. He didn't really have anyone to give it to there. Fogarty, up a much 
Watch the big fellas, Nikora. Oh, he's taken a knock there and he stayed on the ground. It goes away to Tapane, he's back on the field. They've got to stop the play here. Nikora's on the ground. They keep going, it's a kick by Fogarty. White turn! Oh, Katoa with an unbelievable kick! Oh. 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 Wow. I don't like this, Ash. That was dangerous, it was probably accidental, but it's at least a penalty. But does, does Katoa drop his head here? He Time gets him up. But I think Katoa drops his head, which Just contributes. Yeah, right about, got to keep it a contact. We're just waiting, mate. I'm just... Okay, Jack, it was Jack White who somersaulted over the top. Uh, hands on his back. Him, and this one here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's a bad one. Yeah. We, you can't yeah, uh, lift their Give me one up. sec. Yeah, go, Ash. When Stay there, mate, for a sec. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. That's... Uh, yeah, this, this isn't good. And I'll take that back. He didn't contribute at all. Yeah, I agree. That's a send-off. Unfortunately, that's a send-off. He's gone. He's been marched. Wow. That's on the report. He didn't muck around for an act. He didn't even call him over. Said, off you go, son. Sebastian Chris Brittany sent Brittany. off. Oh, sorry, Incredible. Brittany, not you, not you. Britton Nakora. Yeah, I'm sorry. Britton Nakora's got to go independent. He got in there with that adrenaline. Picked him up. And then, unfortunately... Oh, that's Brittany. dangerous. Oh, that looks awful. Sione Katoa is fine. But that was an old-fashioned spear tackle, that one. In the meantime, uh, Nika has come off. He's HIA. Well, Brad, it's all it's all kicking off down there. Oh, the crowd's kicked in as well. It's amazing how many people rushed to the tunnel to give the Canberra player their one-two and what they thought about his tackle. Sebastian Chris. He caught the wrath of all the Cronulla fans as Nikita comes off. We'll find it off Marley in a second. What happened to Nikita? Oh, gee, this is this will take a Herculean effort from Campbell to hit. Well, they've, they've been uh, immense oh, to impossible. be in the game after 60 minutes. It is impossible. With this game and how much ball in play, you're down to 12 men with 20 minutes to go. It is near impossible. The Sharks are going to get to work. They've got to attack. Played way too conservative. Tracy, you can see the, the open space now with the player down. And Raymond's nearly cut too. What a tackle, Tuppenay. Oh see, they look a bit sparse with 12 out there at the moment. Canberra, don't they? And Hines, he's going to kick through. It's a lovely way to kick. It's been spotted to try. It's a try to Trindle. Rafael has done everything right, but that one bobbled away from his control. Yeah, he just tried to stay in the field of play. Jordan Rafael up. He leaves everything out on the field. He tries his hardest every week. He doesn't deserve this. But a nice little kick by Nico Hines. Izuzu D-Max replay. Just threads it in. In behind, finds some grass. Rafael trying to stay in the field of play. He just fumbles the ball. Connor Tracy, he's there on the spot. He dives over the top of Rapana and grounds the ball. The Sharks extend their lead. Well, they need to go right on with this now, the Sharks. Played quite conservative. The Raiders really got in their face today, but with Sebastian Krusov down to 12 men, they have to make a real statement last 90 minutes here, the Sharks. Yeah, it was Braden Trindle who dived over Rapana. He's had a real crack, Rapana, as always. That was just unfortunate. So, a play sent off, and immediately, in the ensuing set of six, Cronulla has scored and extended this margin to what will be 10 points now. Oh, he's missed the kick, can you believe, next to the post? Well, that's the best commentator's curse ever. Stay back, boys. Stay back. 
Well, Nico needs to get this quad right because <laughs> they, they need to get their goal kicker back. <laughs> Trickle from right. in front. Marley, what can you tell us? We've just had confirmation that Britton Nikora came off for a Category 2 head injury assessment, so he'll have 15 minutes to prove that he can return for the final minutes of this match. Thank you very much, Marley. Moving forward for the Raiders, they're already depleted with some key players out. Interesting what happened to Sebastian. Hines nearly through. Sebastian, Chris, what's going to happen there moving forward? Might be, might be a lifeline for Jared Croker. Boys, Albert Hopper Wadi part of the squad too. Hines now that stacked up this right hand side and well done Jack White. He's going to be done with that. Ah, uh, they're running downhill now. Yeah, he's controlling things nicely, Nico Hines. Playing against 12 men. The last couple of kicks have been perfect. Goes to the line. Makes the decision late and just puts it over the top. Connor Tracy. He chases through. Freddie. I've got to say, the crowd have brought their tonsils today. It has been deafening. I think because the Raiders kept them out of the game for so long. Everything now that comes good for the Sharks is a roar behind it. Trindle. Rudolph back in for his second shift. And six more. It's starting to pile up against the Raiders now. Trindle, Hines, catch pass. Try! Monotalo! Well, the floodgates are opening. It's just nearly impossible. Well, it is impossible with how tough this game has been. How much defence both teams have done to be down to 12 men. For a Raiders supporter there amongst all the Sharkies. Oh, it's easy to max replay, and it's just too easy. He's talking training gallop. Talakai runs the decoy, and Nico just finds Latalo on the end. And they're celebrating the Sharks. Yeah, the hearts combining. He trindled the hinds and... Mulatala, he's the beneficiary, gets out nice and low. That's his 20th try for the season. Had a wonderful year, Ronaldo. Oh, he's a real weapon for them, isn't he? You see him featuring prominently in the uh, Pacific Challenge International Rugby League at the end of the year for New Zealand. And that's their favourite play inside the 10. The Sharks were coming to their left. Talakai will run the decoy, either for Hines or Trindle coming out the back and scored a couple against the Bunnies in Perth. Have to use Talakai as that decoy. If they get the the home semi-final, the Sharks, do they play here? Don't know if that's been... Well, Freddie wants them to play at Allianz. And that's the Roosters' home game. Yes. Of course he does. Yeah. Funny, funny Seriously? Good They're idea. not playing at Allianz. Only 40,000 will go there. <laughs> We're Good restricted on. to 10,000 here. Great idea. Good on you, Freddie. I might take it to Combank. <laughs> oh, don't tell me ticket from Tarts. That'll do, mate. to go. Could be a, a lopsided result the way things are running at the moment. Here's Kafusi for the Sharks. Well, Braden Trindle, he's about to uh, go to the stewards room. He's missed one from in front. <laughs> they nailed it from the sideline. <laughs> stewards want to see it, Braden. Joseph Manu would play with that hamstring. If 
you were to compare performances, gentlemen, on, on what those respective clubs have offered this weekend, who would you be tipping in that game? The Roosters, what, five in a row now? Well, on form, and the, the performance of the Roosters the other night, you'd say the Chooks. Absolutely. The Sharks look like they're on their way to getting the job done here. And Jack White and Pierce through the defensive line again. But they've been, been far from convincing the Sharks. One more try for Canberra, and you just never know. Here's Portal. Jeez, he's got a fine. What a future he's got. Starling Nam. One of those lightweight middle forwards. With great speed. And Ruben Cotter. One of those sort of players. Every team needs one. So Manu and Tupo potentially to come back into that Roosters team. Look at that. Since, so it's only been seven minutes since Seb Chris was sent off. Well, the game was in the balance. It's unfortunate. He's had a cracking game today. Three. Grant Atkins Hold. has imposed himself on the game, stayed out. He had no choice for the send off. Four, he went six penalties Hold. and three six to go. Hines. Oh, he's from behind the man who uh, knocked over a defender. So, penalty to the Raiders. Well, once again, we saw one the other night in the Roosters South game where Billy Smith went through. And it was play on. Well done for awarding this. Because that's an out and out obstruction. Normally they let it go. And if it's a try, they take it off. Him. Once again, great decision. So that's the state of play. Live ladder. Sharky's in sixth. Roosters seventh. Raiders eighth. And if Cronulla go through to win this game, it'll be... Panthers, Warriors, Broncos, Storm, we know, locked away. Knights, Raiders, Sharks, Roosters, the other the clashes in week one of the finals. Rapina sends it to Whitehead, out the back for Timical. One more try here. Oh, what a tack that was. That was Cam McKinnis. Who else? Fogarty, if they can jag one here, there is still wide. Hudson Young trying to link up with Whitehead. Oh, he went over the sideline. That was a big effort. Yeah, Ramian came again. Got really aggressive with Hudson Young. He beat him the first time, Hudson Young. And Ramian, he comes again. Just rushes him over the sideline. That's the first occasion. Does well. And then Jesse gets a hold of him, drags him over the sideline. Marley with some more new sideline. Well, good news for Britain, Nikora. He has passed his HIA, but he still has a few minutes left of that assessment. So he would be able to join the game when there's about five minutes left, and there's a good chance he'll just be left on the bench if they're still winning by this much. Hey, Marley, Connor yeah. Tracy's just come from the field. Can you go and find out if there's any, any dramas there? I'm Please. on it. If the immortal asks, we're all, we all rush around. I was talking to the trainer. That was the crusher. Thing. I don't think it's a HIA. Now, the crusher was on. Was it? Oh, it looks like he's limping a little bit. He's going straight up the tunnel. Well, their fullback stops. Kennedy's going with that hamstring. Kate Dykes. Drop ball there. Kate Dykes. Ruption. And an ACL at the start of the year. So. Well, the next one in line would be the man who's out to play it, Kale Ira. Nico Hines. I just saw Matt Moylan. 
of the grandstand. Well, Matt, Matt Moylan started his career at fullback. He's lost a couple of yards of pace. I'd be putting Nico back there. And Jack. And Matt. Mate, you're facing over there. It's not the first time you've done it today, mate. You face right over there. Well, we're hearing. No. We're hearing Kennedy might be back. Really? Maybe. I actually saw him down there. Marley, go on us. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Get your skates on. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, I've just got some news for you for starters, and then I'll go on to the next. Yeah. Connor Tracy has come off with uh, hey. a bit of a hamstring issue. It is something that's been bugging him all game. And with these l last nine minutes left, it's more precautionary that he's come off. But yeah, on to the next one. Hey, Marley, there's some chips on a stick over there. Can you say they've got any left? Please, yeah. <laughs> Can you get I'm sorry, the... I thought I was sideline reporter, not assistant. Get the one that's been dipped in oil all afternoon. <laughs> Thanks, Marley. The one that looks green. Here's Royce Hunt. Up together, Jamal! 12 short now, and nice pass to the middle of the ground. Hines with it, floats it over the top. One bounce, Kartawa versus White, and Kartawa wins the battle. He can move this bloke. Sione Katoa. And Nico Hines. They rushed out at Nico. Izuzu D-Max replay. He just steps inside Frawley and just floats a pass over the top. And when it bounced, Sione Katoa just moves fractionally just to beat Jack White and he scores in the corner. He's brought this kick a long way back. Braden Trindle's on the 30 metre mark. A metre in from the sideline. Now he's kicking into that Sour Easter. Stewards? <laughs> They're all over it. Brad, you're right behind him. No, I was just talking to Gal. Gal was just communicating with Braden. He's got 50 bucks riding on this kick. Oh. We well, might yeah. need Gal's strength in his legs that'd to get hurt. it there. That'd hurt Gal, parting with 50. Uh, we'll see tears if yeah. he kicks this. I'll Gal's... tell you what, the crowd will tell you if he gets it. Go on, go it. over! He's go over! Oh, oh, it's in the oh, pose oh, and bounce back. Gal's made another 50. Can you believe it? <laughs> Stay up, David. Stay behind. Stay behind. Canberra goes short. See, that's a good kick. It, it's past. It's past the ten in the air. Broken the plane, as they call it. And the Raiders have got it, but there's a knock on. Hook on, so mate. Yeah, broken plane. That was a mad kick. <laughs> Wade Graham. Gee, they, they've got a they've got a task next week, Canberra, to regroup. They've got to seconds. get up to Newcastle. Yeah. If they've got a short turnaround, Billy, how much the contributor is playing away? So after the game, I imagine they'll bus, bus back to Canberra, and then they'll probably bus up to Newcastle next weekend. Oh, yeah. yeah. They went to a lot of training this week. It's been a pretty physical encounter. Already down on stock, so yeah, going to be a tough challenge for the first week of the finals for the Raiders. Um, playing against a team that are red hot at the moment, too. Nine in a row in the Knights, and playing up there in Newcastle. They're the feel good team at the moment. How's Carlin Ponga? Yeah, I understand. Look, he won't be 100%, but he'll be fine to go. Interesting to see who they play 14, the Knights. 
I'd be tempted to go with Lockie Miller just for that insurance. Yeah. Uh, normally that 14 is Kurt Mann. Oh, once again, it's, it's, it's just not crisp. Matt Tamoka. And even that try to double knock on. Matt knocks it on the ground also, he can't play on. The ball Raiders hit the fan. ground and Katoa scored. That that time, Talakai, he overran his 5'8". He was in space too early. Yeah, that might be a result of how much they relied on, on Will Kennedy. He adds that, that polish in the end of their, their attack. Now... And stay with us too, because uh, we're under five minutes until full time. <laughs> Will Kennedy, with a smirk, sees himself on the big screen. We'll have the schedule for week one of the finals, right on full time. So we know who's playing who. And we'll let you know what times those games will kick off. Starting with the bus through the centre. He is such a spark, Tom Starling. He's come onto the field so late. Puddle, Fogarty, lovely tap on. Timoko over the top now. He's been cut off by Nico. That was really nice attacking play by the Raiders, but with the advantage of the extra man, the Sharks are able to arrive en masse. Played by Mooney. Fogarty tries to kick through. That's off Royce Hunt's Come legs. On, and it is play on a Cronulla ball. Stand up now. Back here, hold. Yeah, Joey, with uh, the struggle to score points for the Raiders today, would you be tempted to put Jack White back in the halves? Yeah, I would. I, would. I, I don't think he gets enough ball at centre. I don't know what they'll do if Sebastian Chris, if he's suspended, Albert Hoppawati was 18th man, he'll, he'll come in. But yeah, I'd move Jack back to 5 8. Freddie, you've coached Jack White. What, what's your thoughts on, on him positionally going into a must win game? Yeah, well, Matt Frawley just hasn't been able to get him the ball. And if you can't get him the ball, then you obviously there's an opportunity to go and get it yourself or play closer to the ball. He just needs to run more simple as that. They're down on troops. Could you get him back to fullback? Well, that, no, when, I wouldn't do that. When when he's at five eight, he brings Hudson Young into play. Yeah, Jack play White. him at five eight. Get him the ball. Make him busy. So they scored the first try of the game, Canberra. That was a contested kick by Rapiner, who got up. High over the top of Connor Tracy, and since then, well, actually, until the 60 minute mark where uh, Sebastian Chris was sent off, it was it was quite the struggle. But Cronulla have got the better of this towards the, the back end. Five tries to one in the end, actually. And just a reminder, we'll have the fixes for the first week of the finals in just a moment. Played by Moody, and way to Frawley. White is trying to pursue this kick. Oh, he might have got taken out here. Yeah, he doesn't feel trying. Jack White, and he's chasing this kick. Jesse Ramian Time just off. got in his road. Yeah, potentially next week's Jack's last game for the Raiders. Penalty, penalty. Swept to Fogarty. Pass underneath now and Sharks defence. Pretty good here. Kotrick tried to bounce away but couldn't. Starting in the first receiver. Slips a pass. This is Mooney. Under 90 seconds to go. The Sharks have really loved to turn them away here. Head down Starling. Can't find the power to get over. Fogarty pops a pass to White. Thumping shot. Gee, Royce Hunt and uh, Talakai. And down the bottom of all that too uh, was Trindle. Kick to the in goal. Hines has gone back there. He's cleaned Help. it Goal line, clock on. It was Hines playing fullback. 
There's Matt Moylan, and there's Kate Dykes next to him, and he's left the young fullback. Kick it, boys. Interesting kind of tracing. Mm. Now, did Marley say he could feel it all game? Yeah, it's been troubling him since Whether that's, since that's, the start. that's that go. nerve pain. by Fogarty and that'll win the game to a conclusion. Oh, we're not up yet. Up. It was 6-4 at sure? half time in favour of Canberra but the Sharks have shut them out and drama with Seb Chris sent Stand off. And doubtful we'll see him next week in week one of the finals. So Cronulla have got the job done. Wade Graham offers applause to the Sharks faithful. It's his last home game from a regular season perspective.